Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Badly. Yes, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. If this is your first time with us for any video, or this one especially, welcome. We are a silly bunch, and you are welcome to join us for that. If you do want to see this uh, from the very beginning, of course, we will have a card in the top right hand corner so you can see the whole playlist and start episode one, as we are quite deep in this story. As a rehash of what we did last time, we took on the final shadow boss. Game's over, gents. We're at new game, uh, post game. I'm just kidding. We're not at post game. Epilogue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, things are getting, uh, you know, I think the question on everyone's mind at this point is going to be what's next, right? Right. So. And what happened to Jin and, uh, Takaya. Takaya. I wanted to say Tayaki, and I was like, that's not correct. But I know it's under the T. So, yes, yeah, Takaya. Takaya. Yep. Takaya and Jin are unresolved. Yes, they technically jumped off a bridge into the bloody water, but like, <laughs> no body, no death as far as narratives go. Um, yeah, that's true. That's and true. Chidori's still in a hospital being wooed, I guess, by Junpei. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but he spends a lot of time there. He's doing something. Yep. Um, we did also finish the Death Arcana, which is a story-based social link last time, and we unlocked uh, the Persona Thanatos for mm. doing that. Yep. At r rank 10. Um, which, which we really still don't know who that person was, so until further further investigation i'm gonna to hold to past or inner child self of our protagonist here their name is pharos uh that's about all we know uh yep. and they were saying goodbye at rank 10 yes which is very interesting that that happened right after we killed the final shadow sure shadow yeah and we saw him during the day which the only times before then we could only see him during the dark hour right it was always dark hour, but that was early morning. He showed up and was like, all right, we are done. Yep. Okay. Guess we're saying goodbye to Pharos. I don't know what that means. I guess more to be more to be found out. Um, we are, of course, back in the real world, no longer in dark hour Tartarus uh, currently. We're going to be doing social stuff mostly. But first, what we need to do this evening is... We go back to the dorm because there's nothing we can do currently. Yep, we're gonna go have a sushi party, so let's get going. Yep. Oh, I can't. I can't even leave the normal. Okay. I'm brief. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yep. Gotcha. You have the classroom and the dorm. Yep. Those are your options right now. <laughs> well, the other thing I found interesting about Pharos specifically. <laughs> This is some primo sushi. Before that you... is a lot of sushi. Oh it, my god. It is. I kind of <laughs> want some of it. Um, yeah, we do. But the other thing I found interesting was that he said he regained all his memories. Mm-hmm. Yep. And because of that, he had to leave. Yeah. It's an interesting idea. Yeah. Tells me there's more to Pharos than even he knew at the time. Right. Yeah, it's interesting. Anyway. The slices are huge! <laughs> Man, I'm starving! Can we eat? Sushi me! Hey, where are Aige san and Ikutsuki san? He took her to the lab for a tune up or something. He said they'll join us later. <laughs> the chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? That must be my father. Ah. Oh, right. We've been waiting for you. I forgot so the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. is her father. That's right. H who's he? <laughs> Can't you tell? That's Kirijo Senpai's dad. She looks exactly like him. What? Y you think so? Congratulations, everyone. You've done well. I no words. In countenance, maybe? Though you'll never receive the recognition you deserve, your achievement was truly monumental. Thank you. Really. <laughs> to you, I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. Oh, it was no big deal. Thanks to you, the 12 shadows behind all this chaos have been destroyed. You've carried this burden long enough. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. As of midnight tonight, 
the specialized extracurricular execution squad will be disbanded. Disbanded? Oh, right. No longer must you risk your lives in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Will you still stay in the dorms? <laughs> Is something the matter? Nah, it's nothing. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits. And don't worry about holding back. Eat as much as you'd like. Sweet! Freaking finally! <laughs> Listen up, everyone. Now that we're good and stuffed, how about we take a picture together? A picture? Actually, I did try to take one last night. Except I forgot it doesn't work during the dark hour. Oh. You mean you brought a camera with you to the battle? Well, yeah. I mean, it was our last battle and all. Excuse me, mister. You mind taking our picture? Ugh, I feel like such a tourist. But, you know, <laughs> I do kind of want a picture, too. I was going to say, this seems like a legitimate... Oh, wait. Ikutsuki-san and Aigis aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone, get together. Come on, squeeze and tie. I like how kids everyone, hold get real close to me. <laughs> <laughs> you want me close, too? Uh, no, not you. <laughs> Jeez, don't make the poor camera guy wait all day. Hey, we're good to go. You can take the picture whenever. How's this for a pose? This is, this is absolutely adorable. Yeah, hey, get your hand out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? Being tossed. We'll just take another one when I guess and Akutsuki san get back, all right? Yes, yes, we hear you. <laughs> I could really get used to this worry for uh, I, I love that Mitsuru just had this like sigh expression you, on her face. Are you excited Exhausted. for all this meat? What? The celebration party continues. I'm so pumped. I know. I spent a moment of relaxation with my battle weary friends until it became the dark hour, and we were like, wait a minute, what? Full Ooh, rank seven. Rank seven. The seas. I seas you. But I thought hey, seas was getting disbanded. Right. Don't tell me rank full, seven. Right? Are you kidding? I'm stuffed. Yeah, me too. Like hardly anything left I on the platter. Another bite. How about you, senpai? <sighs> I'm good for now. Nah, suit yourself. Out of breath. Oh, get it. For Maru, you hungry? Bark. Don't give the dog raw fish. You'll make him sick. Oh. I guess an Akutsuki san sure are running late. And just look at the time. It's almost midnight. Dark hour. It's not green though. There it is. Now it is. The hell? Hmm. Those guys in the suits transmogrified. <sighs> The dark hour still happening? Uh-huh. Senpai, what's going on? I'm not sure. Guess I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. <sighs> Say what? Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Oh, the bell tolls. Where's Ikutsuki? And he hasn't even called. What could he be doing with Aegis that's making him so late? Was well, Akutsu gonna turn out to be like the bad guy all along? Mitsuru? Everyone, hmm. prepare to move out. Interesting. We're heading for Tartarus. Um, to do what? I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. 
We have to find out what's going on. Good point. I don't like that. Ikutsuki-san. Hey. I don't like that at all. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Oh man, he's about to make me so mad. Kutsuki son! What are you trying to pull? Got that menacing tone. You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. Oh, man. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty, shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. That's why death, death? advanced every time we beat something. Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? Oh. Uh -huh. You see, I what? too was a scientist on the project 10 years ago. He said death advanced every time we beat one of the shadows. Right. Yeah, the Death Arcana advanced. Pharos appears it, to be probably related to what is going on. Oh, that he's right. Describing. That was the connection I was going O for is that Pharos yep. is probably not just the social link death, but probably is a representation of death. Probably. I think that may have. So a lot of the social links get assigned one of the major arcana for vaguely related reasons to what the arcana is right but death seems like it's pretty on the nose yeah like um, like as an avatar or embodiment of which death. isn't a criticism i think it's a pretty clever choice to you know depending on what pharos ends up being anyway yeah yeah, yeah. also you'll be happy to know dan that mm -hmm. i did not predict in my head at any point that shuji was going to be the villain hmm interesting yes like um just for the viewers Edification for both <laughs> Persona for Golden and Persona 5 Royal. I was able to determine who I jokingly predicted as like the bad guy to some degree for five, like but definitely the, with four. Yeah, um, yeah. Really early in the game. Yeah, don't say who they are, of course. So we, we don't want right, right, spoilers for right. those, but yeah, they're. There, well, <laughs> there's reveals that happen in these games, so, yeah. But, like, I was like, oh, I bet this guy is the villain. And it was, like, the first eight hours, I think, in Persona 4 Golden. And I was just like, mm -hmm. why do you think this? And I was just like, gut intuition? <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something about the way their character design is, or the way they act. <laughs> Yeah, Ikutsuki here looks pretty normal. He does. Honestly. He does. Yeah. Um, with Persona 5, it was not the final boss that I thought was no. the, the, big, the 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 sneaky evil. But ah, yes. I was pretty close to the mark on that one, too. So, mm -hmm. But, you, I mean, if anybody hasn't watched us play Xenogears, you, I have my moments. Um, yep. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just letting Dan know that this actually caught me by surprise because he would probably find that interesting. Indeed. All right. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. 
They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. Mm. That can't be. Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once Paris. he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. Paris being his name gives credence to that. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. I don't believe that. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. And I've already got that skill. Don't worry about it. Find it how? By Wah. dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. How else did you describe it? He didn't it? know me at the time. But I truly respected him. Adjusted. <laughs> While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. Mm. Yeah, right. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you? Squaring off. I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But Man, you're not you are just describing kids, it very well. <laughs> after all, maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. Oh dear. I guess what's wrong? I guess please. Engaging. Whoa. Interesting. I feel like we're playing Xenogears all over again. Gekko Khan High School Observatory, now part of Tartarus. Ooh. What's going on here? <laughs> it seems I was unconscious. <sighs> what the hell? That's what I'd like to know. What is this? The Reaper coming. <gasps> I can't get these off! Father! Ikutsuki, what is the meaning of this? And yeah, there's some interesting symbolism going on it's right It's exactly now. what it looks like. Mm -hmm. They are our sacrifices. Our Harbingers seven. of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! 
You're full of shit! <laughs> my, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. <laughs> What are you doing, I guess? I... I... <sighs> Fine! I'll do it myself! Ten years. I've wasted ten long years! I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions! Look at him. What to do? <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> nice one. Yep, I'll accept that. That's that's even better. I guess. <laughs> what? Father? You good for nothing failure of a machine? I'll do it! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Koromaru! Best doggo. Don't mess with the smart dog. That's it's right. It's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> I see. Wipe the slate clean. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> just waiting for some large thing to come up behind him and just eat him. Just chomp. What Did you she... find a death note? <laughs> <I'm> so close. <laughs> so when people asked if he was insane, the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san! Father! 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 My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him. Mitsuru slumped to the floor, crying like a child. 
soon the dark hour will end. Sonata picked up the stunned Mitsuru. Everyone returned to the dormitory in silence. Hmm. Yesterday was a shocking turn of events. Gee, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Wonder if Mitsuru will be all right. What's going to happen to us all now? She'll figure herself out. She's mm -hmm. very strong. Indeed. Excuse me. Did you hear? Well, actually. The student council president's father died from an illness, right? I can't even imagine what it's like to lose a parent. Hmm. Yeah, I think I help my mom with some chores when I get home. How do you just carry on, right? That's a really tough thing to do. Uh -huh. Indeed. It's a message from Sonata. It's important. I want to touch base with everyone on, on where we're at. Come to the lounge as soon as you get back. Yeah, presumably while Mitsuru is grieving, he's de facto leader. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they cleared out the chairman's room. Well, no surprise there. Aikis isn't here either. Also no surprise. Uh, I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Kirijo Group CEO dies suddenly. They're blaming it on an illness, though. <sighs> yeah, it's never the truth. <sighs> nope. Kirijo Senpai's not here, huh? She's an only child. So there's a lot to be settled, like the funeral and the family business. She'll probably have her hands full for at least a week. Yep. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. Honestly, with the big as that so, company is, weak minimum. What are we supposed to do now? <gasps> What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of panic. I would think so. I hope Igis is okay. Yeah. Man. I want to hear what they have to say, but they haven't made a peep. Am I supposed to just wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru's meeting with the company execs. Might explain the delay. Yeah. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know who to fight now. He kept saying stuff about the fall. What would have happened if we were sacrificed? Hmm. Good question. Can't even imagine. Hmm. So many unanswered questions. Yeah. But standing around here isn't going to solve anything, right? True. But there is one thing we know. Tartarus is still around and shadows are swarming the place. We should train so we're ready for whatever we might be up against. Right. Honestly, good advice. Right, that's it for tonight. Try to get some rest, even if you can't sleep. Okay. Yeah. Also good that. advice. Oh, right! Yukari-chan! Hmm? What's this? A disc? Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's PC. A lot was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. And, well, I think it's something you need to see. The undoctored video? <laughs> Thanks, mm. Fuka. I'll be sure to watch this later. I assume so. Mm-hmm. Just don't forget. So it's just a normal DVD? Uh, ain't nothing normal about that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I guess when you don't know what else to do, Artis has been an issue. We haven't reached the peak of it yet. Maybe that's yeah. the answers lie further in. Presumably so, yes. Further up and further in. Excelsior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. What's up? 
The other question I have is, what will happen once we hit the next full moon? Death. We do still have, <laughs> yeah, we do still have the limit there, so it should be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, well, let us. What is the thirteenth Arcana? What's the thirteenth Arcana? Yeah, we've we've already fought that one. I believe it's the Hangman. Oh, I thought we did twelve. But Hang was twelve. Okay. What's after yeah, Hanged? I, I guess is the question. Then hold on, I'll double check Arcana real quick. Why are you doing that? I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Isn't this that video? My employer has oh. become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. That's why I had to do something to put a stop to it. <laughs> However, in doing so, I released a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Please, you need to listen very carefully. Whatever you do, it is imperative that you do not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Uh-huh. This part's... I wasn't able to do anything to stop this madness. He won't listen to a word I say. He's been seduced by the devil's temptations. Those monsters will try to reunite and become one again. If they succeed, then we're all doomed. I'll say it we're once all doomed. more. Do not go after the shadows that were released. This is the original video. The real one before Kutsky went and tampered with it. Dad was trying to put a stop to the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one request. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon, and I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, as your father, I was never happier in my life than when I was with you. This really is my dad. I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. Dad? Ooh. Ooh. For the record, 13th Arcana is death. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, man. Dad? <laughs> I know one thing for sure now. I'm about to quit hitting me in the I feels. I right to believe in you. I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. Yeah. There we go. Neo becomes. Wow, the resolution Yukari's heart has awakened a new persona. Neo has given rise to Isis. Yes, indeed. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I forgot she had a healing apex. Tranquility. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Yeah, that's a group concentrate. I don't know if that affects her, because it says all allies. But she might concentrate everyone else, which is fine. Yeah, but it might be her that, too. That's that's real strong. Yep. I'll fight for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad? I'm mm. calling it. Mitsuru is going to be the next one to get the second awakening. Yeah, I think so, too. Just given what she's gone through. <laughs> After all this emotional. Come to think of it, the crops I planted. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, you yeah, know. So, yeah, we can go harvest those. Oh, yeah, we still got to get some golden potatoes at some point. Mm-hmm. All right, SB items. Yeah. I will continue to plant them because I want and need SP all the time. Yep. Keep it going. All right, soul spinach. All right. 
Okay, so we got an evening slot here. Go ahead and go to, we need to buy a new PC URL. At a club. Club Escape whatever. Aid. Club Escape, Escape. Escape, also we have this going on still too, right? The uh, apathy uh -huh. syndrome. Uh-huh. Grumble, grumble. And given that it still seems to be getting worse, Mm -hmm. After defeating each shadow, I wonder if the unified death contributes to that. That's what it seems like. Hey. Go have a look. Hey, bud. Ninja fan site note. Exactly. Buy that. <laughs> that was kind of expensive. Okay. Um, so exit here and check the board real quick. So we can fill out that name. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna bother me until we do it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yep. All we needed. The Kekko Hiraoki Oka, whatever. Figure we were right here. All right. So next up is gonna be Tower Rank Five. I was just checking to make sure I had a tower. Yep. All right. Hey, old man. How you doing? Hey, buddy. I'm going to use a listening ear today, so clearly you're the one to talk to. Mm-hmm. Huh? You're here again. Yeah, I feel like we could go real, sir. Should I spend some evening with him to talk to? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Maybe his ridiculousness will ground us a little bit. <laughs> you really are an odd kid. Well, have a seat. <laughs> you're late. I was just thinking about leaving. You've been coming here a lot, too, huh? Are uh, you all right, kid? You know, financially, paying for the drinks here? High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least, I never gave much to my son. I have enough. <laughs> I'm not not struggling. <laughs> <laughs> do you now? <laughs> Guess you kids have ways to make money these days. You're not doing anything illegal, though, are you, kid? <laughs> not that I care. Just killing shadows. By the way, let me ask you. Is there anything you want right now? And I mean something you can buy with money, not some crap like love or a sense of humor. <laughs> well, fine. Uh, the answer is no. Don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. Back when I was a young man, I never had enough money to buy the things I wanted. When you get to be my age, well, try thinking about it this way. You work to make money so you can have a better life. But to make enough money, you gotta work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? It is a fine line. Do you line. know what the average lifetime mm -hmm. income of a white collar worker is? Not enough. Including a retirement fund and an annual pension. <clears throat> it's 250 million yen. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh, kid? Yeah. Now, don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. Mitatsu's words are harsh, but I can feel his kindness. I feel like I understand Mitatsu a little better now. <laughs> Tower. He's so unusual. I worked my ass off for a lousy 250 million yen. And for what? <sighs> I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. Hmm. So goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. That is a significant hmm. amount of US dollars that I do not have. <laughs> 250 million Japanese yen is 1.6 million dollars. Hmm. There you go. Welcome. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. What? Now then, <laughs> there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? He's talking about this conversation as a dream. 
Uh, yeah, I know. I was okay. I was just, <laughs> I was just kidding. Just making sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think we've noticed some changes here. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer no. <laughs> to the change in your mentality. I would assume there was that some mental changes there. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. Specifically with Pharaohs. Mm. The paper I signed at the dorm was lying before Agor. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please do keep that in mind. Well then. I bid you farewell. Way to be super vague in what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Igor always oh, has a... Fury. Has a, um... <sighs> prescience and foresight to him. Yeah. As if he understands the entire path that you're walking. Um, and speaks about, you know, what is occurring... Uh, and what will occur equally. It's it's fun. Yeah, I mean, I gotta assume if I were to be in his shoes and had said abilities, that it comes with the expectation that I can only give the barest of information so as not to influence the choices that need to be made. Right. What's up, Chica? Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> Hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. <sighs> huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear, this pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In hmm. two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? That's interesting. Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... This is... too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now... it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Shidori, but why? <laughs> For once, Junpei, it's nothing you did, bud. Yep, she's having problems. Yeah, she's having to reconcile some very strong emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so we have some things we need to do. Uh, mainly, we're going to go accept some new requests from Elizabeth okay. at the Velvet Room. And there's a few we can do right away. Yep. So let's break it down. What what do you think Chidori is Marvelous. dealing with specifically when it comes to her feelings for Junpei? <sighs> um, I'm looking the impression... I get is that she is aware that she's in a situation where she can't be happy. Assuming she returns Junpei's feelings in some way, which he seems to clearly have feelings that go beyond like a crush 
right? Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not just typical Junpei nonsense. Like, he seems... Look at that. Fool Loki. That's cool. Um, he seems to really have feelings for her. And uh, the touch, it, it didn't seem to be a, you know, just a, a simple boundary. It seemed more like it was causing her pain, emotional pain, physical pain. It's unclear. But they can be considered one and the same since her uh, persona tends to just freaking attack her. <laughs> right. Um, the look in your eyes. It's strong, so something fierce, like that. It could be... How you looked the day we first met. Interesting. Could be that she is aware of something that she's going to have to do or that, you know, maybe there's... She feels that she is going to die because of her condition. Yeah. Uh, it's too painful to try to do like uh, return Junpei's feelings or you know w whatever however she regards it she's been so withdrawn it's hard to define her emotional state right. with definitive words currently but it's vaguely that sort of thing is the impression I'm getting from her struggling to create a connection and feel and find it worth her time when her time is limited Th yeah perhaps it's something like that yeah um. Because it, they've made it pretty clear that anybody who has their awakened persona forced upon them, like Jidori and Jin and Kaya and uh, Shinjiro by extension, is that they are doomed to an early death as well. Seems like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's either that or she has very suppressed affect. When it comes to her emotions. Yeah. Uh, other than get away, you know, like just if I may that sort of thing. Being distraught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. The request this time is to clean up the city. The location shall be or Island Station's restroom. Please help clean that area. You've already been provided with necessary cleaning tools, so please make good use of them. I will await a report of what a weird... Think of it. While we were taking a stroll around Gekugan High School together, I noticed the flowers in the rooftop garden were on the verge of dying. Perhaps because not many people would frequent that area? What a sad sight for such a lovely spot. Would you be so kind as to give those flowers some water? By all means. Of course. If you don't mind, I'd like to, you to bring me a certain food. However, it is not something that is typically consumed by humans. In fact, one of your friends seems to delight in eating it. The furry one with four legs. Did you know that? I will await a Doggo. report. My apologies. Ah, about that request. I hear it is very difficult to obtain even one can of Odin juice. Even among can drink fanatics, only a few have managed to get their hands on it. As it would be unwise to conduct a search without any leads, I advise that you first speak with an expert. This is merely a hunch, but perhaps you'll find one such person near a persimmon tree. By all means. Oh my. Oh, you've already, fulfilled you've already completed this. This has a uh, temporal slash. Oh, Tempest slash. Tempest slash, yeah. Uh, temporal, wow. Uh, yes, <laughs> a, a persona with Tempest slash. Empowering Sutra. Cool. cool. Good deal. All right, so we've taken more quests than uh, the well. current guide says are available by, I think, one or two. Um, so we can fulfill a couple of these. Um, so we go to Port Island Station. Yeah, just a station, I think. There's a restroom. We can go clean the restroom. Oh, the flowers are here, too. So maybe we can get our, um... Purple. Is that the name machine? The flowers she was talking about were at the high school. Uh, yeah. No, I... There was a gold potato, um... Oh. From... Oh, I got Reflesia, whatever this is. Refl yeah, Reflesia. There we go. Reflesia. Golden oh. tomato sprouts. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh. I. Oh, she said it in the way. Reflesia. Don't you do it. Don't you do Golden it. Tomato <laughs> sprouts. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't have golden potatoes. It's golden tomatoes. I must have misread it. Got tomato, it. potato. Oh, potato, tomato, potato, tomato. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these, too. Do it. Dr. Salt. Moon kiss. Moon kiss. One up. 
<laughs> I like one up. Kissed my full moon. Oh dear. Covered by old school a, gamers. Yeah. What a description. Salty soda, popular but an acquired taste. <laughs> Is it now? All right. There's the fountain. There's a bathroom around here. Yep, there's a public restroom somewhere. Oh, probably up here. Yep, there it is. I can't read. Someone seems oh, yeah, to be there cleaning the restroom. Should I enter the restroom? Hey, you can't come in here. I'm still scrubbing the floors. Huh? You're not here to use the toilet? Oh, okay. So you're here to help out, huh? Wow, even brought your own brush? You really came prepared, didn't you? Well, all right, then. Why don't you start from the other corner? Looks like I'll be helping the cleaning lady. One tile just won't mm -hmm. be clean. Does this matter? I, I don't know. Scrub? Does, there's no... Yeah. <clears throat> scrub harder, I guess. <laughs> no matter how hard I scrub, the grime won't come off. What should I do? Scrub harder. I gave it all my strength, and the grime is beginning to lift. The tile is completely clean. Doo -doo -doo. Wow, you can eat off that floor. I'd rather not. Do you have clean school <laughs> restrooms after lunch or something? You really know your stuff. Thanks, kid. Just leave the rest of it to me. Successfully help clean the restroom. Cool. Mm. All right. All right. Guess so we'll now that that one's done, we can go water the flowers. Let's like water some at, flowers. Yeah, at the high school. Uh, they get up to the roof, right? Uh... I don't know where they are. I think she said the roof. Third floor. Um, okay. I know we've been to the roof. On the school. Can I go up uh, this way? Rooftop, here we go. Don't know why there was some clarity there, but whatever. Flower bed! This one seems to be doing great. These flowers seem like they're about to wilt. Looks like this spot didn't get any water. Maybe I can water the flower bed. Gave the flowers some water. They should be fine for now. These are doing great. I think that's it. Should be. Yeah, as long as they're watered, we should be okay for that one. And we can, let's see. Let's see. Okay, yeah. And then we can go to, there should be a friendly student in the corridor that we can talk to. In the corridor? Second floor first, or I guess corridor is its own place. All right, yep. Oh, yeah, by the persimmon tree. Yep. Let's see. Friendly student. Yep. Can't say, huh? So even I take the bus, it'll cost around 10,000 yen? Ah, uh, how many drinks can I get with 10,000 yen? Yeah, what's up? They like drinks too, huh? But all yours are normal drinks. What? Can't say only drink is so rare and awesome that everyone wants to sip. She doesn't seem interested in the drinks I can buy here. Okay. Good talk. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that doesn't say it, it's complete, so we'll have to come back to keep dealing with that one. So we can go turn in the other two, though, right now, and then we can ask Elizabeth out. Yo, girl, I heard you want to check out my room. Let me take you to my crib. Good right. day. About requests. Are you accepting a request? Report. Wonderful. Seems you completed a request. One moment, please. Thank you for watering the flowers that were on the verge of withering. To think of it. I've heard that plants grow so long as one continues to water them. Admirable, isn't it? But plants aren't the only ones capable of such things. Maybe I'll try this watering process on myself as well. There's a part of me I'd like to cultivate. <laughs> the next time you see me, maybe I'll have grown a little limb in some way. Please take this as your reward. Made outfit. Let's hear the results. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please. Thank you for helping cleaning the Port Island Station oh, restroom. Yes. The brush you used to clean. Will we accidentally skip through that? 
The filth is not encrusted on the bristles might help in a battle. A very primitive form of biological warfare. <laughs> Maybe this is sort of a weapon fusion? No? Please take this as your reward. Made outfit. Alright. My. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. <laughs> Shall we be on our way? So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. So this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. <laughs> hmm. If I might be permitted to ask, when I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? <laughs> uh, interesting. Um. Depends on what you mean by suspicious, because given your behavior with things that you're unaware of, it usually gets a little strange. Uh, let's go with yeah, little. In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. Mm. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? There was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm... It was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. I think I get it. Hmm. Let me put it more plainly. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. Oh, yes. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to guide me through it. Uh. <laughs> what will you do? I think it might be best to gently decline. <laughs> so just to let you know, this does not have any relation to other romantic choices. It's not a formal romance. But it's up to you. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a one girl guy. So I shall just need to fly. Uh, Sorry. I Elizabeth. understand. I will refrain from asking any further. It's nothing personal. Let us know in the comments what you would do. <laughs> I feel as if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for you. That is why I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. 
Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. I returned to the velvet room with Elizabeth. Distinguished visitor invited Elizabeth to your room. There you go. All right. Thank you for earlier. Now then, how may I be of assistance? Here are my requests. Report Wonderful. that. It seems you've completed the request. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for showing me your room. To show my gratitude for indulging my curiosity to the end, I have something truly special for you. With it, you'll be able to fuse Lucifer of the Judgment Arcana, the Lord of mm -hmm. Hell, whom no mere human could dare reach, his power unparalleled. I'm looking forward to it. However, someone of your caliber is plenty capable of rising to the challenge. I can but only gaze from below. However, I am willing to stay by your side, no matter what heights you reach. Of course. I will overcome any ordeal that may stand in the way of my goal. That, I believe so. This now concludes the last of my requests to explore your world. You have my thanks. Thank you very much for everything you've done for me. Please take this as your reward. Tyrant's Horn. Nice. It is going to be a minute before we can fuse Lucifer. Uh, because Lucifer is a level well. 89 persona. Ooh, boy. <laughs> So, but it is also extremely powerful, obviously. Yeah, he's one of our in-game persona we've been looking over, right? Correct. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, next is Temperance, rank 8. That is... Bebe? But so, I think. I should double check, though. Yeah, double check it. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Temperance. Yep, baby. And also check our personas. I should have a temperance in here. Yep. Perfect. And we'll say 80 hours, friends. And we still got a ways <laughs> to go. Wait, what am I doing? It's so much easier if I just do it this. I must still <laughs> I will come to get you for club activities. Let's go. I like Bebe. I hope things are going better for him. Me too. Hello, hello. He's having a tough time. Yeah, we need some good news, all right? We've had a lot of sadness lately. Magudodono, are you busy? The master of the way of the kimono, I have need of your strength. I feel like my girl pulls her to Bebe. Yes, we should spend some time at the fashion club. I must so. At the chicken I am eternally grateful. Then today I shall sow as I have never sowed before. Sewing is my life. My wallet may be light, and my materials may be cheap. But I will work out to make a beautiful kimono and save my future. I helped Bebe work on the kimono. Kimono. Hmm. Hui. This is starting to come together. Manzoku. When my uncle sees this, I know he'll agree with me about how great Nihon is. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so he'll definitely agree is what we should say here. I believe you, which means I must work even harder. I made so much progress today, and I could not have done it without your help. Merci, arigato. <laughs> Thank you. Bebe seems truly grateful. I feel like we're growing closer. High five, Bebe. Eight. Oh, my arms are so very tired. I must have overworked them. But no matter what's the cost, I will finish this kimono. For my future, for Nihon, I cannot give up now. Spent the day helping Bebe, then went back to the dorm. After school! Okay. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Yeah, that tracks. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. Woohoo. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Thanks, Elizabeth. 
Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is now open. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus. Oh, we will. I see you're back. Oh, you're back. Looks like Mitsuru won't be coming back for a while. I'd like to think that she'll be okay, but I'm not sure this time. Hmm. Okay, so... We can work on Request 94. Um, so we should talk to Koromara. Arf! <laughs> Koromara seems to be happy after eating his fill of dog food. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. <laughs> You're taking my food? Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like he thinks I'm hungry. Koromara is giving me a meaningful stare, his eyes full of sympathy. <laughs> Gourmet dog food. I think he's trying to share his dog food with me. Maybe I should accept it. <laughs> okay. Ridiculous. Yep. And now we can turn that in. Good day. Oh, God. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. One moment, please, while I check. <laughs> ah, so this is the food enjoyed by your little furry friend. Oh, the label says luxury dog food. Is your friend something of a gourmet? Oh my! What an enticing Correct. <laughs> Don't tell me they use this as an ingredient. I truly envy your friend for being able to enjoy such luxurious meals. Please take this as your reward. Bone. <laughs> and accept that one. Bring me a Featherman R action figure. If I may say so. <laughs> Surely you know the catchphrase: "Evil be gone." The Phoenix Ranger of Love and Justice is here. And allow me to clarify, I am only asking for the Featherman R action figure. Keep in mind, no other Featherman will do, not for this request. By all means. No Y, no B, only R. <laughs> exactly. Very well, then. Alright, Ken. We got a new weapon, it looks like, for Koromaru as well. <laughs> yeah, a bone. Weapon. I'll bet it's really good. I will bet it's about like the other kind of silly ones we've gotten before. Let's see. Wow. Yep. Are you kidding me? I knew it would be really good. I would stick with that one, but yeah, that <laughs> one's really good. That is ridiculous. Uh-huh. Some of the other goofy ones we've gotten haven't been that strong. All right, whatever. Sometimes you get a swirl meringue. Hello. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Stupid lollipop. <laughs> oh, hello, Yuki-san. I'm to think of it. Elizabeth asked me for a specific item for her. <gasps> what? A Featherman R doll? I isn't that prize you can win in a raffle? You enter by buying packs of gummy gum. Why would you want one? You're already in high school. Uh, I... Well, I do have one. Thank you. Uh... I'm not into it or anything. I just happen to have extra raffle tickets. Um, I actually have a dupe of the same color, so you can have it. <sighs> but please take good care of it. But wow, I didn't know you liked Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Of course. Uh, maybe we could watch it together sometime? Haven't we done that already? Uh, <laughs> I think we did for a movie. No, we, we joked about it. The festival? I thought the festival was a Phoenix Featherman. It's, it was some kind of hero f festival thing. Uh, all right. But so I it think, was like a hero, superhero movie. Yeah, but I think we jokingly called it the, fe the Featherman. Day. Sure. Oh, is there something I can assist you with? Yep. Here are my wonderful. It seems you've completed your request. One moment, please. I see you have obtained a Featherman R action figure. May I hold it? Interesting. You can put it in various poses and play with it. Oh my. Oh, it's flexible enough to put into this kind of pose. Um, this may be a bit overwhelming for me, emotionally speaking. Let me have this back. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> please take this what? as a reward. I don't even want to know. Sacrificial idol. That sounds good. All right. That says the last old document. That's interesting. Old document 08. That's right. Mm. Uh, um. Okay. So well. there is a note here about how some of the best items at the antique store require a lot of heart items. Yep. And if we want to get those, we should pick up well, growth three. Which I don't know if we have it. Uh oh. 
Maybe. I don't know if we have it currently, but we can pick it up and we can make copies of it at the shop. Oh, it's uh. Car? I got my yeah. hands on some it is indeed a car. I don't have enough emeralds. Feel free to look around. And we do not have growth three, so we're gonna need to get emeralds to get it, or just find a growth three. So. Yeah, I know we've got a couple of. Um, I think we have a couple of personas that, that have growth three on them. Come again. Mm -hmm. So if they can get fused into certain personas for items that we need, we could probably get away with it that way. Yep, um, there are several Persona that we're going to have to get items from in order to make the best weapons. So that's going to be a bit of a grind when we get to yeah, basically end game, uh, so that we're equipped correctly for dealing with a lot of the hardest bosses. So Yeah, we'll get there. Yes, indeed. I just need to collect ten more emeralds. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think you have two yeah, currently. I think it was twelve, Maybe wasn't eight. it? Uh, Oh, uh, no, it was 10, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, well, then I need eight more emeralds. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do tower rank six. All right. What's up, brother? Uh, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Let's spend time with it. Oh, uh, leave me alone. No, it's you. Hey, can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. No. Damn it. I can't believe I let this happen. How pathetic. Oh, I'm in bad shape. You should go home. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. You're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. Even, even if I go home, I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the Heart Sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Ah, uh, you drank too much. Day, all I needed was a cold shower, and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. I guess I'm getting old, huh? <laughs> it's always in times like these uh, when it's hardest to be alone. Do you have any co-workers? Hmm? You asking if there are other monks at my temple? My temple's small, and I don't depend on nobody but myself. I'm the only one there. If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. <laughs> My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything and we see me. has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. Its true face is that of emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. Because form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to his words, I can sense feelings of affection from Mutatsu. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. Mutatsu? I find it interesting that the picture of the tower is being struck with lightning and it's crumbling. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh, yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victims. What a harsh world we live in. No kidding. Be careful mm -hmm. on your way home, too, kid. 
Yeah, so the the tower arcana is associated with uh, like a crisis or danger or sudden changes. Mm. Could symbolize destruction as well. So that'd be why it's being struck by lightning. So Matatsu's in a crisis? Could be. You can hear people talking. I, mean, I think he is. I, yeah, the way he's acting sounds like he's dealing with some kind of internal crisis. Hmm? Jeez, that's someone with Abby syndrome at my cram school, too. You know what? I heard the city isn't the only one affected. <sighs> Excuse me. It's also happening in other places. I wonder what's going to happen to this country. What? Hey, come on, don't say some scary things. I'm sure someone will take care of it. Ah, yes, the Reliant. Somebody else will do it. <laughs> Bystander effect. Yeah. Oh, Excellent. man. I don't know if I was prepared for this guy today. <laughs> now we begin. Today we'll be examining regional forms of magic. First up is India, one of the birthplaces of magic. You may not think of India as an especially magical place, but it most assuredly is. Considering how esoteric Buddhist magic came from India... It was a definite influence on Gnosticism and a foundation of modern-day theosophy. It's even said that Upanishads, part of the Vedas, are the original books of magic. Upanishads, yeah. Many ancient Indians were passionate in their search for magic. These Indian magicians emerged in similar circumstances as other places around the world. In India, it's traditional to lead a pious life. But eventually, some people claim to have gained immense power through tapasya. Tapasya? I'm not sure how to pronounce that Yeah, me either. At first, their claims were rejected, but then they slowly gained power in numbers. Eventually, they were accepted as common practice. These are the aesthetics mentioned in the Upanishads. Upanishads. I don't get it. However, any normal human wouldn't be readily able to mimic their skills. Those known as the Tapasa have surpassed the limitations of humanity. Do you think you could fast and pray for months at a time without even go sleeping? You'd die before attaining any powers at all. So, it's understandable that the Buddha rejected such extreme asceticism. Of course, the Upanishads aren't all about such radical practices. They contain very practical methods too. Yoga, for instance, was also introduced to these scriptures. Say, are you all listening? No out-of-body projections now. <laughs> How about a test to see if you're paying attention? Get it wrong and you better be ready for a heaping dose of bad karma. Om Vajra Ratna Om. Okay, then. Now, who should I pick? I choose thee, Yuki. What is the ancient Indian magical text I mentioned today? <laughs> the Upanishads. Correct. Upanishads. Mm. Correct. You will, not, you will need to live an honest life, though. I can't pile on any good karma. Moving on. There are many different schools of yoga and near countless asanas or poses being taught. Some asanas are for health, while others are for prayer. One important branch is Hatha Yoga, a type of yoga that many people are already familiar with today. In this branch, one cultivates a healthy body to obtain purity of mind. I answered correctly. Excellent. Man, we're still only at five with academics. Let's get out of hand, y'all. <laughs> Fast has ended for today. I guess. Hey there. Hello. A... We have not addressed the fact that she nearly caused us big problems. And we will continue to ignore the fact. Um, yeah. Hey, Junpei. You got something I need? Yeah. Yes, he does. We are going to do Junpei Linked Episode 3 right now. Oh, excellent. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Hey, you see that message I sent you about grabbing a bite? Right now, the Temperance Arcana may help me grow even more. What? Should I spend some time with Junpei? You should. All right. I'm confused how the Temperance Arcana is improving some of this. Yeah. Nice. Want to get something at the strip mall? Well, let's go to the Port Island Station first. Hey, mind if I pop in there real quick? Go for it. 
<laughs> Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Uh, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Well, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure it will be fine, as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Interesting. Uh, on second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> well, sorry for the pointless detour. Uh, say anything. <laughs> Are you broke? <laughs> I'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Not gonna buy anything? I just don't really know if they're okay to buy. Hmm. Hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So... The girl I'm visiting. I think I made her upset. I want to tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me <laughs> not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Hmm. Go see her anyway. <laughs> um, give us some time. Time, huh? Makes more sense than going to see her without a plan. It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop, you know? No matter how motivated I get, it, it's getting me nowhere. In that way, since I played baseball, those hero moments, or if I could just hit the ball, man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always. Struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. Hmm. Things can still change. Thanks. Whew. Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kind of hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. <laughs> Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudan to Wakatsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsudan there? <laughs> Junpei didn't buy the white flowers he picked out. I wonder if he's going to skip visiting the hospital. Hey! You zoning out over there? Uh-huh. Okay. Today is an auspicious day. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Hmm. Healthy meal. Academics. Finally! Maximum! We are geniuses! Peak performance. Maxed all social stats. Thank goodness. It was bugging me. Took a while. It did. Uh, so... Oh, welcome back. Thanks, Ken. So, just in case anybody is curious, <clears throat> the reason there was hesitation there is that white flowers have a lot of meanings in Asian cultures, but... They are often associated with death, mm -hmm. specifically like in funerary, funeral and stuff. So taking someone white flowers in the hospital, not great. <laughs> um, it's usually recommended to do like brighter colors to uplift their spirits. So like yellows, oranges, pinks. Um, white is of course also a symbol of like innocence and purity and uh, chaste love, depending on the context. So it's like, it's not a, like a, 
dry. It's always this thing, but that's why that hesitation was there, I think, for our florist. So do you think Junpei was aware of this? No, I don't think so. I think Junpei thought, huh, she likes white flowers. And that's as far as think, his thought went. Do you think she's aware of this and or it's signaling a thing about her character? Um. Okay, so as far as narratively speaking, mm -hmm. I do think that the white does symbolize a couple of different things. Right. Um, I do think that it's been pretty obvious that Junpei is developing feelings for Chidori that go beyond right. just like a friendship. Like he obviously cares about her. And in a healthy manner, like not not like he has been up to this point with like, hey ladies, you wanna come to our bedroom? You know, like he's sure. genuinely interested in her and genuinely cares. And so I think mm -hmm. The white can represent some of his innocence and his his love for her. Um, but I think it can also double as, you know, from her perspective, rather narratively from her perspective, we're seeing she asked him, what are you doing in two years? Right? Mm -hmm. Because from, I think from her perspective, that's all she has left. At most. Sure. You know, um, because of the the, the persona, nature of the persona and not having the medication to keep the persona in control is going to run right. out eventually like all of those things mm -hmm. she she is living a doomed life <laughs> quite literally um, mm -hmm. and so I think it, I think it kind of doubles as both of those things makes sense to me yeah there you go some, some analytics there yeah uh, do we have a star persona we may not actually. Nope, I'm nope. missing star. Okay. So this should we need to walk Koromaru, but it should give us star points. So if you want, we could go get one. You could probably drop the temperance one and switch it to star. Yeah, that's true. I don't need death. I could probably drop death too. Sure. Because he's just one I made and just happened to be left over from the fusions that I was doing. Sure. Yeah. So we'll do that. Remember, you need to dismiss. Well, actually, I think with this one, you can just summon and I'll let you dismiss. But well, uh, may have to dismiss yeah. before you go in the velvet room. Yeah, that's fine. I can still do that. Release. Yeah. Let's walk in here real quick. Marvelous. It's as if your presence emanates far brighter radiance than before. Twilight fragments. How may I assist you? Let's do some fusions. All right. So, summon. This is your progress so far. Eight star. Mm -hmm. I think a shogun should be fine. Well, Ganesha, right? Mm -hmm. That's a good. One. That's one. Please take a look. Yeah, that was good. All right, anyway. Yeah, definitely. Is this acceptable? Yeah, that's good. Very well, it's yours. Might as well be useful while we're here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and since we're here, now then, let's just want to see. Special persona you desire. Yep, sixty-five for not? Norn, sixty-eight for Alice. Mara is seventy-five. Thanatos. Oh, we need Alice. Yeah. And Thanatos. Pull up Thanatos real quick. Oh, I, look familiar. I recognize that outline. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Also, look at that resist profile. That's really strong. You yep. get Thanatos some null light or resist light, and oof. Yep, there is a reason Thanatos is the top um, uh, persona in the Death Arcana. Very, very good. Although Alice has the more effective. One one shot kill spell. It's down there. It's called Die for Me. Oh yeah, yeah. Lucifer. Oh, he's gonna be awesome. Inferno. Yep. Oh. Mm hmm So yeah, because we're looking at it right now, Lucifer learns Inferno, Pantare, and Diamond Dust. Oh, he learns all three of the Wow. Well, three of the four. He, he learns three of the four of the elements that are not light and dark. Right. Yeah. Because uh, light and dark don't have 
uh, like severe versions. Uh, they have other things. And, um, and he's got the a really strong uh, Almighty as well. He has Megadolon. He has Debilitate, and Brave Blade is a very strong physical, you know, slash hit. Um, his final skill is Resist Fizz as well, which puts resistance on all three Fizz attributes. So, oh. <laughs> can't wait to have him in my yeah. party. That's gonna be great. Yeah, essentially, my Lucifer build that I'm planning is we pass Thunder Rain to Lucifer, and then we just let him learn whatever else. Like, just the entire rest of it is completely fine. <laughs> nice. So, and it's it's pretty easy to pass him Thunder Rain, considering the multi-fusion mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll make it happen. Excellent. So, something you can look forward to, viewers? It'll probably yep. still be like another what, uh, 10 or so episodes. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, I mean, possibly. I don't, yeah, I don't know yeah. how long it'll be, but going strong. It'll be a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's take him for a walk. Oh, hey. That's right. You walk your dog around this time. Mm -hmm. I'm just out for a light run. Felt like I needed a little more after club practice. Yeah, it's kind of chilly just standing around. Want to do some stair laps over there? <laughs> I am not dressed for stair laps. Oh, welcome back. You've got some pretty good form there. I should get back to my run. I'll see you later. Gormar and I return to the dorm. We got a Sunday. Bleep, 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 bleep. Got some messages. Yes, indeed. Bebe and Kenji. Oh, yeah, we still have to finish Magician. We do. Um, yeah, so there's some Sunday hangouts here that we're not going to be doing. Um, we haven't been doing any of the optional ones, so... Uh, that's essentially so that we can do the things we need to do, but those optional ones, you can just run through them to see them and then reload if you want to. We haven't been doing that. Hey, our picture's up yeah, there. Yeah, I was just looking at that. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> cool. Uh, TV Shopping Network, yeah. Irritatingly catchy songs. It's Tanaka! We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices, so don't I'm touch that dial. To Today we're introducing a mysterious doll set. Calling all doll collectors, we've got a great selection of dolls just for you. Good, good. First up, we have the Japanese doll, and it comes in a bundle of three. Look at the fine craftsmanship. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's Not more. Bad, we'll throw in homunculus too. Guess how many? Two. That's worth every penny. Yep. Purchase that. Excuse me, I'd like to buy two effigies and some fancy dolls. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Next time, we'll introduce a <laughs> bodybuilding supplement set. Don't miss it. Bye bye now. All right. So it is Sunday. Oh yes. So it is. Machines are restocked. Um. Also, while we're out buying stuff, buy a white flower. From Rafflesia. You got it, dude. Oh, right. I forgot they do them next to each other. All right. Tell me. Station. All right. Bad boy. Or biotic, please. I would like some happiness water as well. Music in this area is also good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I've always really enjoyed the Persona music. I think we talked about this before. Yeah, the soundtracks are really good. Yeah. Alright. Excuse me. Welcome, Welcome to Reflasia. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? White flower. Mm-hmm. 
sold out. Might please someone. Alright. Okay. And then the afternoon slot here is Sun Rank 5. Uh, we are kind of coming up on time here. But yeah. Um, we can get uh, we can get in rank five if you feel uh, feeling good. Uh, either way. Let's hold off. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we'll hold off. This is a good time to stop. I figured Sunday would be about where we stopped today. Had a lot. Kind of a heavy episode. Yeah, I had a lot filling in. I'm sure we'll get through a lot more days upcoming. Unless there's more heavy narrative moments, but we'll see. Yes, indeed. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed it. I know that we have. Um, we appreciate you being here. If you do like what you've been watching, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. It helps us a lot. And comment. Comment, comment. Your thoughts on is it just a white flower? Does it mean something? Or, um, <laughs> you know, anything else regarding what's been happening narratively or builds that you would like to see persona wise or like just kind of curious how we're going about the process or it could be completely unrelated to the game. It doesn't really matter. We just like engaging with you. So let us know your thoughts. And um, agree. If you don't want to wait till the next episode, the next exciting episode of Persona 3, and you want to watch something that's completed, <laughs> uh, we have plenty of other playlists that are complete games. Um, we have our current running stuff, of course, but we also have uh, plenty of other stuff from the past year that we've been able to get out for all of your perusal and enjoyment, and they are filled with just as much silliness as they are with uh, deep, heart-wrenching moments, especially if you watch, like, say, Xenogears. Um, which has been referenced several times in this episode, but for very good reason. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we had a great time with that playthrough. Lots of mind bending stuff. Definitely recommend it. If you're liking the in-depth things that are coming up in this game, uh, that's another good one to check out. Yeah. That one will boggle your mind for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> even now months after we've played it, I'm still discovering new things about it. So, yep. Yeah. I had, Years after I played it for the first time, I'm discovering new things about it. It's just got so much depth to yeah, it. Just keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. That's a it's a good game though, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, but more than anything else, we're just so glad to have you here with us. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day, and we do hope it is a wonderful one. And we will see you all in the next video. See you next time. Bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Do 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 do! Thanks for watching!